Hey guys, Tony the Soy Sass Assassin, and welcome to another episode of Cigar Review. And today we're doing something a little bit normal, a little bit not normal. Uh, what I mean by that? Uh, well, we're doing the H. Upman, the Banker series, Day Trader. Here we go. So the reason I say is normal is not normal is because they, uh, the Banker series has been there. It's been a while. Okay. And um, I think Day Trader was recent or one of the most recent ones uh release day was somewhere in april of 2023 and i've been interested in it but i haven't been to smoke it for some reason i bought them and just never got to smoke it so let's take a look at this cigar right now so this is a toro 6x54 h album the banker day trader okay uh msrp is 1385 uh, it is made out of uh, Ecuadorian wrapper, Nicaraguan uh, binder, and a blend of Dominican and Nicaraguan filler. Okay, so you know it, it's it's supposed to be like more like if you listen to this uh, the 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 blend, it sounds very normal, but it's H Upman, so it kind I kind of have a like um, expectation for it, even though it's not the you know quote unquote H Upman H Upman. You know what I'm saying? All right, let's do this. All right, it smells kind of like an old socks drawer, something like that. So let's go. All right, draw it's high resistance. Okay, it's not Gao stock market. High resistance. Tastes like cologne. It's like floral. Like a dark, damp floral. Hmm. Let's see. These are. Maybe you'll loosen up. Maybe you'll loosen up. Let's light it up. Yeah, don't mess with the banker, right? Don't mess with it. Slide it up. It's a lot of tobacco for this thing. All right. It's woodsy. I try to taste is there anything more than just woodsy. It's just it's cedary and has like a muted pepper, like not very spicy pepper. And tastes like sand. Like gritty.
and some sort of sweetness in there and that was it that was it so yeah let me smoke for one third and hopefully this is this is not as miserable as a day trader <laughs> be right back all right so this guy is super blocked i'm having such a hard time smoking this it's disappointing and yeah i had to use the draw tool to poke it through any like poke it through any more this thing's gonna get destroyed it's, it's still very hard draw hopefully as i smoke i'll just get by that point i think somewhere here that the draw will become normal again so <clears throat> first there is cedar very mild amount of pepper like very minuscule amount of pepper uh some sort of like a grapefruit sweetness and <clears throat> maybe grand cracker but like you know the experience wasn't that good so you can taste it but it wasn't that good strength up medium medium plus maybe because of how hard the draw is i i really do feel the strength and that's pretty much it that's pretty much it so you know i if i grid it right now based on experience that trouble i'm going through right now it's not gonna be a good one so i'm gonna smoke until it kind of loosens up a little bit longer and um then we'll give the price you know one thing i find is pretty cool is the color like right now it looks really dark green right but like a certain light that actually just looks really nice i don't know i i have to show you guys a different view of this but it, it the color kind of changes but just not right now i don't know be right back <clears throat> okay two third finally the the draw kind of loosened up as you can see like that looks better now it's not perfect but it looks better now so um what i'm getting is mostly a mixture of like a woodsiness and, and and some sort of berry or uh still that grapefruit bitterness plus some sweetness to it and a little bit of pepper at the end and it, it tastes kind of like i want to i don't want to say boring but it's relatively standard relatively standard yeah it's what you kind of will have thing to expect kind of the flavor uh the pepper doesn't really burn your tongue per se it burns your nose more that's pretty much it for the second third now once you loosen up it's easier to smoke of course so but let's take a look at the band day trader first band like, like that looks like the stock ticker going up and down and day trader it's kind of a cool concept right because all their their banker stuff is all named after certain bank involved jobs or something like that so it's kind of cool I, I i bought it literally because my wife was in that industry just not a day trader so you know it kind of gave me one to buy them i guess and, and this one doesn't have that banker big paper wrapper thing so it's kind of nice so I'm going to smoke the last stir. Hopefully we can um, give it a better price than what I had before. Uh, it's already kind of go up a little bit. I just don't want to give you that number because you got to think that is bad. <laughs> so I'm going to smoke the last stir. I'm going to give you a summary. Be right back. All right. So I thought about smoking even longer than this. I don't think it's going to change anymore. So this is where I'm going to end here. Uh, the cigar mm, is almost turned to a, like a stone fruit uh kind of sweetness and i have a little bit of woodsiness it's like almost so standard almost so standard with the the flavor so there's not much to yeah pepper ramped up a little bit more on the nose and that's pretty much it i mean it's a sweeter cigar with the woodsiness pepper and once in a while you can kind of taste maybe chocolate but not not all the time so that's pretty much the, the, the cigar is pretty standard cigar so the price will be at with the smoking time i will say mm, between 850 to nine dollars between 850 to nine dollars what i feel the cigar is worth um and that's taking an, uh in consideration that how much trouble i had in the beginning so if there's no trouble probably ten dollars but it's about yeah about nine dollars of cigar it's not too too bad it's not great at all and um 
it's just very standard, right? And because it's so very standard, it's just like one of those things I try one time, you know, I'll call it a day because you can't find any other cigar to smoke at the day, at the time. And you're just like, oh, that's interesting to pick it up. And that's pretty much it. That's really the the, the cigar, you know. There you go. That's the band, the banker, which is pretty standard uh, of a band. Like I say, this look really dark right now, but like under certain light is different. It's brighter. I don't I don't know how to describe it. So, yeah. This is the thing. There we go. Not very interesting of a cigar, really. It's just like, eh, it's new. Try it kind of thing. So, and that will be it for this particular review. If you like it, make sure to like, subscribe, uh, comment. If you had other bankers that you like particularly, let me know which one because it's quite a bit, right? Let me know which one. I do like the original ones with the sleeve over it, but I hate that sleeve. So, you know, I don't know why. Yeah, so yeah, leave the comment. Let me know which banker you like the best. And make sure to share. Uh, what else did I forget? Not much. We still have podcasts. Make sure to listen to our podcast. And we have membership if you choose to look at some of these contents early. All right. So I'll see you guys next one. Bye, guys.